Did you notice that Sergio has been drawing Chacal wearing a new outfit recently? Like in 2021. Why aren't we talking about this? Hi, I'm Darren. These are my hands. And this is GruTube, where we appreciate the art of Sergio Aragonez. Okay, before I show you Chacal's honest to goodness, no joking, it's been out there on the internet for months, yet I haven't noticed anyone mention it yet, new wardrobe, I've got to admit, even something as paradigm-shifting as a change in one of Gru's longest-running characters' costumes isn't really substantial enough to warrant a video on its own. So today, I want to talk about a few things that Sergio has done over the years that played with the outfits of the characters in his Gru the Wanderer comics. I want to show you Gruella's twinsy dress, the sage undressed, the minstrel in civilian dress, and of course, Chacal's new outfit. And maybe I'll even throw in a few Gru things too. But first, let's tidy this up. Okay, Gruella's twinsy dress. Way back in Epic's Gru the Wanderer number 18, we met Gruella, and here she is wearing her signature light blue dress. That's how we know Gruella. We see her in this dress all the time, except when we don't. But even way back when she was a child, Gruella wore this light blue dress. There she is. There she is. <laughs> there she is. And there's the hair that we know. Yep, way back from the very beginning, Gruella always wore this light blue dress, which is a nice complementary color to Gru's orange jerkin, except in issue number 59. Well, she's got the light blue dress on the cover. Mm-hmm. Let's look inside. Oh, you know what I've never noticed? Check out those earrings versus these earrings. Okay, I gotta go look now. Round earrings. Round earrings. Round earrings, round earrings, round earrings. Okay, she's got round earrings. Always round earrings, round earrings. Look at the sword though, eh? She's got the same kind of katana that Gru has. Round earrings, round earrings. Look at that. It's like, where did she get that sword from? Okay, where were we? Gruella has a blue dress. Except, in issue number 59, where Gruella wears the orange twinsy dress. Yep, that's right. This is an interesting story because Gru really doesn't factor into it in person, yet we see Gruella a number of times and she's wearing her orange dress. There she is again, orange shoes too. Orange dress, there's that sword again. Orange dress, orange dress, orange dress, blue cape. What color is the cape normally? I think it's kind of a purpley, ready thing normally. And our pal Gru only shows up on the very last panel and in the Grugrams. So there you go. The time that Gruella wore her twinsy dress, presumably so that she would look more like Gru. Maybe it was just a coloring mistake. I don't know. Something interesting though. Next, we see the sage undressed. And don't worry, this is safe for young eyes and sensitive viewers. In The Wager of the Gods, book number four, the sage has been telling the story about the gods and how Megatheos has been pitting his hero, Arcadio, against the greatest deeds that the rest of the other gods' heroes could do. No, Gru is not Megatheos' hero. Arcadio is. The sage is continuing the story. He's wrapping it up in this issue after spending presumably several days telling it. And here we have the sage waking up, washing up. And what is he wearing? Well, his familiar yellow robe. Maybe it wasn't on when he was sleeping. Just his black undergarment. Here it is pulled down. We even see the sage 
perhaps with his bun out of his hair as he is combing his long locks? When we first saw the sage in this stage of undress, this was new. This was, I don't want to say exciting, but it was cool to see the sage outside of his normal costume. Of course, by the fourth and fifth panel on the first page, he's back to how we normally like to see him. But what a neat view into the sage's undergarments. Okay, that's a little bit weird. We better close this one up. And let's take a quick look at Friends and Foes. If you have not had an opportunity to read Friends and Foes yet, the 12-issue series, you owe it to yourself to get yourself some copies of this and read it. A really fun story. And we get to see the minstrel in his civilian clothes. Now, I'm going to do my best not to spoil things for you, but if you really want to remain spoiler-free, I'm not going to give away the story, but I'm not going to promise no spoilers. So, here we have the minstrel as a young man not wearing his minstrel garb. I often wondered in the early days when I was reading Grew the Wanderer what kind of chin the minstrel really had. Even if we look over here, it's hard to tell at least for me, whether the minstrel has a big chin or if he has no chin and it's just tucked into his collar thing here. Well, as we can see, that is the case. The minstrel doesn't have much of a chin. It must be just tucked into his collar. And if you were wondering if he was bald under there, maybe he is now, but as a younger man, he had some messy brown hair. You know, it's not Gruella messy but it certainly isn't quaffed. The Minstrel, in his civilian clothes. Friends and foes. And that reminds me, if this is Captain Ahax, is this Lady Captain Ahax? Well, no, she's one of Granny Gru's traveling companions. But I think there's some sort of similarity going on here with the red bandana, the frizzy hair, the crazed look in her eyes, and the green blouse. Separated at birth? Long Lost Twins? That's in Gru issue number 41 if you want a closer look. All right, before we get to Chakal's new outfit, let me show you a couple funny things that have to do with Gru. We all love Gru's orange jerkin. Well, maybe we don't all love it, but we're used to it. Yoo-hoo, Referto. So what about this when Gru is wearing a purple jerkin? No doubt there was just an error with the color separation or the printing here, but I think this is one of the only spots that I've noticed grew miscolored in the comics. Purple Jerk and Grew. And what's better than Purple Jerk and Grew? Grew with a long sleeve jerkin. What is that you're saying? Well, let's take a look at issue 102 of the Marvel Epic Run. A bridge named Grew. Here we have Gru with the full sleeve jerkin. Well, no, of course we don't. Another coloring error. And I think that this is right around the time Gru was being printed with a new technique. I don't know the technicalities of it, and I can't really explain what is going on, but between issue 99 and 100, right around in that area, the paper and the printing quality changes. And I think that the printing technique changes. Maybe Tom has started to go digital full-time at this point. There's a lot more gradients. I think that there's a lot more colors being used. The printing seems a lot different to me. And, well, there's a couple mistakes, perhaps, as the new process is being ironed out. And one of those things that we get is Gru with long sleeves, or orange arms. I'm going to call it long sleeve Gru. So, Let's talk about Chakal. From her very first introduction, Chakal has worn this black outfit with a belt of, I don't know, I imagine that's supposed to be some sort of metal. Sometimes they're light blue shiny, sometimes they're white. And her top bits are exposed, but her belly isn't. So let me show you the official Grew the Wanderer website. 
grew.com. Now, this website was totally revamped only a few months ago, earlier in 2021. And take a look at this picture of Gru and his friends. What do we see when we look at Chakal? We see a dress that covers things up a little bit more on the top and has some sort of strap that goes around her neck and a ring in the middle holding things together. This is a new Sergio drawing on the official Gru website. Why haven't we noticed this yet? But wait, there's more. Let's scroll down. There's Chakal. Not only does she have a little bit more of up top covering, but her middle is exposed now. This is a two-piece outfit that Chakal is wearing. It's still the same color. It still has that metal belt around her waist. She's still wearing the same leg warmers and gauntlets. But this is a major deviation from the costume that we've seen Chakal wearing for the past almost 40 years. I wonder what brought about this change. I can only speculate. Maybe as the years go by, Sergio has decided to give Chakal a more modest look to her dress. I don't know if you can call her dress modest even in this fashion, but at least she's less exposed up top. Something that I feel that I've noticed over the years is Chakal has aged. When we take a look at Gru back in 1983, she looks like a young woman. I don't know, when I see her face, her nose, her freckles, and the absence of lips, and then I compare her to anything that Sergio has drawn with Chakal in the last 20 or so years, this Chakal seems like a young woman, and the newer Chakal seems like a more mature, dignified woman. Statuesque, beautiful for sure, but older. And maybe Sergio just decided it was time to update her costume. Sergio, if by chance you see this video and you would like to let us know how Chakal's new outfit came about, we'd love to hear it from you. Anyway, friends, that's all I've got for you right now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications turned on because I will be back again soon with some more GruTube. Take care, everyone.